Iranian state TV says Iran unintentionally shot down a Ukrainian jetliner on Wednesday, killing all 176 people on board. The report citing a military statement blames human error. The incident, which Iran had denied a role in, took place within hours of that country's retaliatory attack on U.S. forces after the death of its top general, Qasem Soleimani. On Friday, CBS News confirmed that the U.S. military also made an unsuccessful attempt to kill a second key figure of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards, Quds Force, its high-ranking commander in Yemen. President Trump discussed details about the threats he says prompted the strike against Soleimani. We will tell you that probably it was going to be the embassy in Baghdad. I can reveal that I believe it would have been four embassies. But just last night, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the administration did not have precise information about the threat. We don't know precisely when and we don't know precisely where. But it was real. You were mistaken when you said you didn't know precisely when and you didn't know precisely nope. where. Uh, completely true. Those are completely consistent thoughts. I don't know exactly which minute. We don't know exactly which day it would have been executed. But it was very clear. Qasem Soleimani himself was plotting a broad, large-scale attack against American interests. The Trump administration revealed details of additional sanctions against Iran that the president announced earlier this week. The sanctions come after Tehran launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles at two Iraqi bases housing American and coalition forces. No one was killed in that retaliation for Soleimani's death, and the U.S. did not strike back. But an Iranian commander vowed harsher revenge would come soon. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.